All right, guys, we are going to go over a little bit of how to use Teams, where to find what you need, all that good stuff. So if you can follow my dot over here, you can see your Teams are going to be listed along the left side of your screen. We are going to work in the red team today. If you are in the blue team, you're going to be clicking on the blue team. Everything will be the same, I promise. So right now we are in the general tab uh, in posts, which you can see right here. That's where you're going to find your weekly schedules, your Zoom meeting invites, uh, any big notifications, things like that, messages I need to send will go in posts. Uh, under files, which I just clicked on in the top, you can see that you've got your syllabus listed there. There's another video for syllabus. Don't worry about that right now. But that's the only thing you're going to find in files there. Um, if you do go ahead and click on more, that's where you can find assignments. Uh, we won't be using the class notebook, but your grades will also be in there. Uh, so you can see that there. Also in the post section here, your assignments will post there. So you'll be able to find that. If we look at unit one, uh, you're going to have a channel is what we call these for each unit that we do. Unit one is where we're starting in posts here. Uh, it, you'll see when I add something to the to the channel that will pop up here. Uh, any questions you have, you can ask that here. Things like that. We won't really use the posts in this very much, but you will be able to see when I post new things to the to the channel. Uh, what you need the most is files and you can see here that you've got some folders to work with and all of these will become very apparent as we start moving through uh, the unit but if you look here we've got videos and under here will be the videos that you have that you need for uh, this unit uh, so you can see those there you can watch them within teams in the notes file, you can see that the PowerPoint that we'll be using in the videos is there, as well as the note packet. Uh, the note packet will be your reading. We aren't going to be using a textbook, uh, so that's where you'll get your reading there. In documents, this is where you're going to find the worksheets and any uh, activities that we will do. Those will be in here. And then if you go to main idea worksheets. I talk about these in the videos for each uh, lecture, uh, but we're going to click on one of these. So if we click on main idea one, you can see the PDF pops open and you're going to want to go to this little box with the arrow up in the corner here. And when you click on that, you can move this right to notability. I like to hit create a new note. Uh, I already have a U.S. history folder. If you don't already have one, I would suggest making one. And then up in the corner, I know it's hard to see, but you can see import there. And when you hit that, you can see that it says done. So now if we pop out to notability, I'm in my history folder, but you can see, oop, you can see that the main idea worksheet is in here and you can write on it and all of that good stuff and that will, uh, in here you can do your work and it will save for you uh, and that's very helpful as you're doing work. I like to rely on notability a little bit more than Word because sometimes uh, Word we have issues with saving things. Uh, and I will make you a video on how to turn in assignments and you can see that when we get to that point. But you can pop everything out to Notability, work on it there, uh, and that is easy enough. Some other features that I want to show you that are in Teams, if you go to More up here, you can see that there's a few things uh, it, right here. This is a Quizlet for vocabulary words that you can use uh, to help you study. If there's any that you're not understanding, um, you can use Quizlet to help you work through that. 
also you are going to see that you have a YouTube video for Crash Course that you can watch on your own time. That is something that's just a little bit extra. If you like Crash Course, you can go ahead and pop that open. It'll open in YouTube for you. Uh, but one thing I do want to show you with Crash Course once it loads for I'm us. I'm a Verizon engineer. And I'm part of the team building 5G. Okay, so once this goes, I am going to... We're going to have to watch the commercial side. Ultra wideband. It's already available in parts of select cities. And it's rolling out in cities around Once the country. Goes 25 through. times faster than today's 4G Maybe. networks. It's the fastest 5G in the world. This is 5G built right. Hi, I'm John okay. Green. This is. When you see this here, I want you to go up to the playback speed. And that I found in the three little dots there. And I want you to slow it down to 0.75. John Green goes a little too fast for us. Uh, so I want to show you that one more time. If you click on the three dots here and you go to playback speed, I want you to reduce it to 0.75 to watch Crash Course if that's something that you want to do. John Green goes really, really fast. And we don't need him to go that fast for us. That's a little bit too much. Um, so if you do choose to watch that, please slow it down. Or you can watch it at full speed, whatever you like. Uh, the third thing that you'll find in, in your units is going to be what we call Wakelet. A Wakelet is kind of like an online folder. And if you scroll through this Wakelet, if it lets me, maybe... If we scroll through this wakelet, you are going to see, uh, we're going to open it in our browser. You are going to see that all of the videos that you need, if you prefer YouTube for this unit, are going to be on here. And they're all titled the same way that uh, they are in your in your team but just in case you you like YouTube you don't want to watch it within teams all of those videos are in here for you it's just kind of like an online folder that that you can use and you can scroll through it right within teams if you don't want to pop it open in your browser like I just did there you've got that option as well so everything is there for you and remember where I found that is going to be in the more section of your unit one and and you can you can see all three of those there files is the other place that we're going to be working in and uh and any questions on teams please let me know that's just a quick run through of what you will be using